I come once again to the wilds of West Virginia to hear the wind push impatiently through the maple and the chestnut and to smell the chimney smoke and watch it linger, wraith-like, in the cold morning hollow of the purple mountains. There is a church here, in the lee of a steep slope, which rises behind the ancient structure, dotted with the graves of my forefathers. Like always, I am drawn to it. I run my fingers along the hand-hewn logs, longing for their tenacity and admiring their resolve. For theirs is a ballad sung, a story timeless and beautiful, and I hang on every note and read every page, savoring each image. In this moment, as if to wrest me from my revelry, I catch a splinter, and the rising blood falls to the ground, mixing with the soil, strewn with acorns, and full of coal dust and ghosts, and coming full circle, I am made part of it all.